Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. Uh, once again, we're going to talk about a couple of issues in relation to the COVID crisis in Victoria. We're going to talk about the um, out of control nanny state and the bureaucracy here and the amount of fines they're being giving out that seem absolutely astronomical and uh, the continuing kind of uh, police brutality. There was a woman uh, recently that was arrested for simply making a post about a public protest. Um, it's absolutely off the charts what's going on and it's made international news. So we're going to talk about that. The report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about, um, I mean, basically the only people who are employed in Victoria at the moment are people who work for the government, um, the bureaucrats, um, you know, also, so you still see a lot of uh, works going on in the streets. So obviously all the union pals of labor are still, you know, some of their workers are still going out there. I don't know, I guess they, they figure that's their base and they're still gonna keep them employed. And there are still some essential services still going on, obviously supermarkets and things, but they're about the only people who are employed at the moment during this crisis. Um, and you know, there's an incredible amount of fines being given out all over the place at the moment. Um, you know, I, I often wonder why that would be. Well, it's one of the only actual um, revenue streams now of, uh, um, the Victorian taxpayer or whatever is to fine people for disobeying these dictatorial rules. So yes, it's one of the only revenue streams at the moment from, for the Victorian government is to fine people um, for disobeying these totalitarian rules. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. So he, you know, Daniel Andrews, you shut down the economy apart from his own bureaucracy and the nanny state, which continues to go and all the money they're wasting on mental health. I mean, as if, as if one councillor uh, for mental health has ever helped anybody. Um, it's absolute nonsense, but more money is being poured into that. It's absolute bullshit. And you know, this is all that's running at the moment. They're giving out so many fines because that's one of the few revenue sources still um, that the Victorian government is able to uh, get out of the Victorian people who are also now in economic hardship uh, unseen since World War II. It's absolutely extraordinary what's going on. And uh, I do think it's part of a, a deliberate uh, mishandling of the COVID-19 crisis, a kind of sabotage that's been going on. Uh, and one of the other videos I'll be doing will be on saboteurs. Uh, our politicians are saboteurs. So stand by for that from the report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you for listening. Cheers.